yesterday we were out on a, a trip and we were in about uh, 26 fathoms, about 50 miles off the beach. Um, trolling along, we saw a, a whale, which is not uncommon, but this whale, um, the fluke looked different, and I noticed it was a right whale, and it kind of caught, caught my interest because they're, kind of, they're really rare. And uh, we just looked at it, kept on going um, another couple hundred yards. There's a couple poly balls together, which is that's kind of spells trouble in our uh, field where it, there's something wrong when you have two poly balls together. Some, some kind of gear has gotten together in some way, and the whale was right there in the vicinity. So we turned around um, and noticed that the poly balls were kind of going along with the whale, but trailing behind him a couple hundred yards. We kind of patterned the whale when he was coming up to breathe and going down, and he was staying up in enough time where we thought it would be safe enough for my mate Adrian Tolapri to, to get in the water. He's an accomplished diver, so he likes to do this kind of stuff. I told him to be very careful. It's a very large animal. We don't want whatever's entangled, if it was entangled, to, to get around him. You know, once we realized it was a right whale, we knew we, needed, we had to do something. And if we were able to do something, we were going to try to do it. But as soon as he came up on that next time after he's down a while, Pat positioned the boat right in front of him and uh, about 50 yards in front of him, and I jumped in and started swimming towards it, and I couldn't see it because I was pretty far in front of it. And then all of a sudden, it kind of came out of the gloom, and it was almost like a submarine coming at me. And it was kind of scary at first, but it was real trippy. As soon as the whale kind of passed me and I and, uh, was parallel to its face and its eye, um, it kind of stopped, which is a trip. And it kind of gave me a little window to get down there. And you can see on the video where the two lines bridle around those fins and come together, there's a perfect spot back there behind his tail, kind of away from the danger, um, to go ahead and make a cut. And I knew that cut, there's so much pressure on those lines, would actually be a one cut deal where if I cut the line it would go up through his fins and release all the pressure off him. My, my intentions weren't really to go cut it free to begin with, my intentions were really to assess the situation and if at all if I could take care of it myself I would. Definitely extraordinary experience and it's pretty cool but I, I never would have you know taken that risk like that but me and Pat have been working together for like 10 years and we've known each other for a while I feel real comfortable with him and you know, I know he's always there, he's got my back, and so it's not like I would have done it and put myself in a bad situation, it just felt right. He cut one of the lines and it just zinged around his chest and freedom. All the gear went to the bottom and the, and the whale safely swam away. Happy and glad to be part of it.